all you have to do is add a section break and you will find the corresponding symbol within the breaks and spacers palette. Here it says section break and I'm gonna drag this onto the last bar of my first movement like so. And now you can see that as the symbol is selected a few options show up in the inspector and these tell you what the section break is actually doing. By default a playback pause of three seconds is being added. You can change this back to zero if you want to. And also the first system of my new section starts with long instrument names unless I uncheck this box. And the second movement restarts the bar counting from one which is usually what you want and if you don't want it you can uncheck this box and you can also disable the the indent for the first system of the second movement by unchecking this box. All right, I will just leave them all activated and adjust my bar line. And maybe I also want to create a second title for my second movement. I will just select the bar, right click and add, insert vertical frame, select the frame, right click, add title. And there you go. If you want to, you can use the section break in conjunction with a page break. I'm just going to hit control and enter. And now you can see there's not only a section break, but also a page break so that the next movement starts on the next page. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.